All right, I want to give a quick update on the fish room over here with all my grow out tanks and a couple breeders in this bottom 125. But the biggest change has been installing a linear piston air pump for a central system, which has been really exciting. It's a Alita AL40 air compressor and it's tied into, I did a little manifold system where I threw it and a bunch of lines coming off and drilled holes in this, just kind of pex pipe. I know a lot of people do PVC, but I did this and it worked well. So um, I do have a little diffuser here, which I didn't think was important, but it is important. So just be thinking of that if you do it. It's really nice. I've got more consistent air flowing out of all of my sponge filters now. And uh, I used to have a bunch of air filters below the tanks, which is not where you want. If, in case something back back um, siphons into it but got my little makes it nice and so now I got plenty of air that I can easily do my brine shrimp there and go from there so just go into the tanks real quick um, starting on the bottom these are the biggest fish these are my breeders so I'll put on the side light so you can see them there's the Jollo Reef in the back there there's some Malawi Hawks that are growing out this is an OB fryer eye that I got from someone else to help mix up my bloodlines. Here's a couple of lithobate males. That's my dominant male, biggest male that's breeding. That's probably a four inch fish. This is my OB fryer eye that's started to grow out and breeding size and the females are getting breeding size. So excited to get these guys rolling again. I'm a couple peacocks mixed in here that are just grow outs. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I don't think there's much else in this tank at this time. So excited to see it go the jollo reefs are breeding pretty consistently everything breeds really consistently here there's several fish with mouths holding kind of in the back it's hard to see with some of the glares so i'm not going to try to show it and jump around a lot but and then here's the uh the albino bristlenose plecos they've been taken off there's a bunch of babies mixed in here as you can see there's some Star Sapphire grow outs that I threw in here with some endlers and yeah, several females breeding. My male I think is in the cave right now on some eggs, it's his tail. So I did get some some rainbows, um, not sure what they are. They're not really doing anything, but they're kind of pretty. I wanted to try something else in that tank. Then here are obviously just some grow outs. This is got a couple different stuff. I mean, I got Star Sapphires in here. These are some young males that are showing some color, which is nice to see. Lithobates that are growing out, showing color. There's a couple of Jalo reefs in there too. Um, but I've got these albino uh, peacocks, dragon blood peacocks. So bred these guys, starting to get, see there's a male. I got some males out in the pond too that are growing out. Um, see how these guys turn out long-term, but excited to see what they, if I can get them going. And then there's some more OB fryer eye kind of mixed in here that uh, to give me some different bloodlines. So we'll see how that all turns out. And then over here in the bottom, I got more grow outs, uh, a couple dragon bloods, peacocks, OB, uh, fryer eyes, some lithobates and jalo reefs, a little bit of everything in here. Uh, there's still some dragon, uh, some star sapphires. And over here is the multifasciatus, neolampologus, uh, well, neolampologus multifasciatus, but then the multis, shell dwellers, they're doing great small area but uh i pulled out like 20 fish from here just recently so there's a little bit more room i'm sure they're going to start breeding here um shortly and then in these tanks i've recently tried an experiment because the shrimp were so cheap at my local fish store i got some black crystal shrimp mixed in with my blues see how they turn out not the easiest to see but i'm gonna try and get them breeding they seem to be fine um, I'm not running RO water, so pretty nervous about it, but we'll see, they're, they're cheap enough to take the risk. Here's just some small um, peacocks. There's some albinos in here and a regular one that I saw just somehow got in there. But, and then here is some other crystals. I got some red crystals, crystal shrimp. So not super high grade by anything like that, but they look nice. Continue and I'll just see what I can do with them. See if I can get them to live. Uh, up here, this got stirred up a little bit, but there's some cherry shrimp, lots of cherry shrimp. Here's just some grass. This is a really nasty tank, but the fish 
are doing good in the grow out. And then lastly, I got my orange caradina, except right there's a red one. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I got going on here. So want to just show you guys how that all looks. Let me flip that light back off so there's a little less glare. And yeah, appreciate you taking a look. Thanks everyone.